if the draft ever comes and you go into war, all the women, all the feminists, oh, the, the women, the women, their, their place is having children at home taking care of the house. You can't have women go to war. The survival instincts are kicking in. Hopefully the pandemic is over because a lot of states like California and New York, they're dropping mass mandates now. So I have a feeling the pandemic is over. The only thing we have to worry about now is World War III. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here to check out the rest of the uh, area. Let's go check out the alligator. Ooh, look at that alligator. When I first saw it, it almost looked real, but it's not. <laughs> but it's fun to look at. Water level is a little bit lower. You can see where it used to be and where it is now. I can see this island over there. Oh, the trees are dead. They added more statues out here, bronze statues, I'm assuming. Now that the water levels are a little bit lower. Look at that. Nice. Some egrets, I guess. There's some ducks under the bridge. Uh, let's check out. Let's just check it out. Let me <laughs> let me be very careful when I'm out here. Oh yeah, uh, looks like a little bit of bird poop, a little bit of graffiti out here. Hopefully they'll fix that. Bird poop and graffiti. Uh, I just want to check out this, the little statue of the boy fishing. So that's why they had it out there. They had it at the clubhouse. I was wondering why it's. Uh, why they had that. They're gonna put it over here. All right, uh, almost time for kayaking again. Almost time for that kayaking season. <sighs> it's gonna be interesting to see how I get on here with the water a little bit lower, but yeah, you know, the ducks are underneath the bridge. All right. Yeah, their maintenance crews are getting everything ready. Look at that, nice. little tour. I like it. Looks like they're getting everything ready. Look what they're doing. Some road work here. Okay. Some road work. Nice. The lake out here looks nice. I'm not going to explore yet. It looks low. It looks a little low. Anyways, I uh, used the bathroom. Got my nutritional drink. I can feel it. I can feel the sun on my back. But it's nice to be out. The pollen level, the tree pollen is probably really high. Oh my goodness, my nose was running. My throat is, uh, I wouldn't say sore, but you know, it has that, uh, it has that uh, mucus feeling to it. I'm waiting for these trucks to go by. So I can go. All right, people are out and about walking around. Gotta love it. It's almost spring. Almost. It still gets down into like the 30s, 40s at night. But it gets to like a nice 70, at least this week. So hopefully the trend is going up in temperature until we reach summer and then it gets too hot. Oh, I have to go out in my summer outfit. I'll probably be stopping by the pool. So when 
summer comes around, I'm going to be stopping by the pool. The spring is right around the corner. Uh, for some of you, it might be an opportunity to ride. Finally, you get, a, you get to ride your electric bicycle or your or your Sarans or your your Super 73s or whatever. I like to see what new bikes they come out with. I don't think Rad's gonna come out with a new bike anytime soon. They recently had, and I made a short on it, a $200 off on their uh, Rad Rover 2. No, not Rad Rover. Rad Rover 6. And then the Rad Runner 2, which is like almost $200 more, so they knocked it down. They raised the price just to knock it down. That's interesting. Tells me that uh, they're not selling. They got to lower the price. I think a lot of people are hit by the inflation. They got more. They got more things to worry about than an electric bicycle. You know. I know I'm not going to be buying an electric bike unless they have some kind of special offer or deal on it. I'm probably not going to buy an electric bike or do anything actually. I'll ride my electric bike. I already got it. I got my batteries. I have other bikes with similar parts or the same parts that I can cannibalize if anything goes wrong because supply chain shortage. Oh goodness. So in my last video I talked about shorts. At the time of this recording, it's it's really helped my channel out, get more views, more exposure. It hasn't helped on the money, but that's all right. Some things I just do for fun. The money is just the icing on the top. If you if you <laughs> if you did things right, you don't have to worry about money. You you already you, you got your financial son that's taking care of you. Now, when I say financial sun, I'm talking about I'm talking about that bright thing in the sky, you know, that bright thing. That bright thing in the sky that keeps uh, giving us unlimited amount of energy so far. That financial sun. You know how to power the power the energy of the of the sun? Well, that's where all your money comes from, believe it or not. Day. Ooh. Isn't that windy? I can tell because the trees aren't blowing like crazy and it's, it's hot enough where the heat just rises and doesn't allow any wind. And the wind I'm feeling is just me moving through the air. Oh, it feels good. I'm still, I am sore. I am sore. Oh. Did some calisthenics yesterday. Rode, uh, rode the bike and, and use the yeah Compact Sport Elite. That's what it's called. The muscle stimulator. I used it for both a pre warm up and a post warm down. And then also did some calisthenics and then rode the bike. So and then did the yard work. Yeah, my muscles are sore. My my body feels kind of sore. I slept like a a log. Man, did I sleep good last night. I started falling asleep around 7 o'clock. I was like, I'll just lay here. I'm so tired. I'll just lay here and watch one of my videos. Now, I don't know. People have commented like, my videos make them fall asleep. They're so boring. And it's true because even I do it. Watch out, car. All right. Even I do it. When I want to fall asleep, I watch one of my writing videos, leave it on, and then boom, I'm, I'm asleep. So if you have and not amnesia, insomnia, you want to you want to fall asleep? Watch one of my writing videos. They're so boring. You'll go, you'll you'll fall asleep in no time. All right. Ooh. Almost 
almost halfway home. I'm halfway to the halfway point, so I'm a quarter of a way home. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I still got the flexi freeze on. I gotta start uh, freezing them. When, they, when the temperatures start reading, reaching like above 80 on average, that's when I'll start freezing my uh, ice packets for the, uh, for the flexi freeze. At least that's the best time, I think, because right now they just take up room in the refrigerator. I gotta go because the light's gonna turn. Yep. I gotta make a wide turn. Whoa! Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I noticed that about that light. It turns, it turns really quick unless you push the button. And there was a big box truck. So I kind of made a wide... I went more in the middle of the road because I knew that I kind of had a feeling there was a, a car coming down that right turning lane, sure enough. Secure, but the thing is, I by that time you know the pools are open, and sometimes I'll jump in the water. Oh, here comes a street sweeper! I have to hold my breath. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, they, they threw a lot of brine on here. I think that's what they did. So they're cleaning it up. Let me see, I got two bars missing. So three bars remaining out of five. Oh, I gained a bar from just coasting. So four bars, one bar missing. Oh, back down to two. Lost two bars, three bars remaining. Yeah, so they'll be there. I hope they, uh, I think they're going to open the pools, at least the, uh, the one next to the clubhouse, no lifeguards, they'll open that like, I think Monday through Thursday, and then maybe open on the weekend, no lifeguards at your own risk, which I'm okay with because nobody goes there around uh, the early opening season, because it's still too cold, the water feels Oh, the water feels like it's 60, 50 degrees. Feels that way. I'm saying it is. But, and uh, I don't know about you, but people out in Houston don't like that. They like their water nice, 70 to 80 degrees. They like their pools to be 70 to 80 degrees. I 
time is bug time. I also got to get the. Uh, I got to get uh, something for the ants. Got to get uh, a triple a weed, weed and feed with insect repellent. Got to put that on the lawn. I have to spray around the house for pesticide because it can get really bad. I already had a bug crawl up on my head while I was sleeping. I was on the bed, felt something on my head, brushed it off, then I felt it again on my other side of my head. I got out, there's a little, uh, it looked like a, uh, what do you call it, earworm? <laughs> I don't know what it's called, they're long, they look like centipedes, earwigs, I think they call them earwigs. They don't really eat your ear, but they do crawl up in these kind of small little places. Gotta wait just a little bit. There's cross traffic. So, oh, okay. I'll start creeping over. All right, gonna go. Yeah, so I had a hair wig on the pillow. Oh, that freaked me out. So, early indication I gotta start spraying around the house. I try not to spray in the house because we're in the house, but I usually spray outside the house early spring or late spring or in spring. That's when the bugs start coming out. If, you, if you're able to do that, it'll, it'll last all the way into probably midsummer and then wane down from there, but the bugs start going away by that time. start doing that springtime activity. Get power wash the house. I don't do any chemical spray on the house. I just power wash it. It's been okay so far. I already power washed the, uh, the walkway, the sidewalk, and the driveway. I already made a video on that. It looks great. I usually do the power washing on the house during spring. Still a little too early to do that right now in the house. Although you probably could, but I, I choose mine to do it in the spring. graduation high school graduation for my oldest daughter I can look forward to that well hopefully the pandemic is over because a lot of states like California and New York they're dropping mass mandates now so I have a feeling the pandemic is over the only thing we have to worry about now is World War III. WW3. No, I'm not talking about wrestling. I'm talking about war, conflict, fighting, nuclear annihilation, that kind of stuff. The only thing I gotta worry about is that now, but I may I'm probably too old to be drafted. But you never know, you know, things can get really desperate. And maybe <laughs> and you could be you could be drafted. All you women out there, you want equal, equal pay, equal opportunity. Well, here's your here's your chance. I have a, I have a feeling all the women out there, all the feminists. All the fembots out there, all of a sudden they're going to be like, Oh, a woman's place is in the home with their children, not on a battlefield. <laughs> if, a, if the draft ever comes and you go into war, all the women, all the feminists, 
Oh, the, the women, the women. Their, their place is having children at home, taking care of the house. You can't have women go to war. The survival instincts are kicking in. Over your emo, emo, emotional <laughs> instincts. Your emo instincts. take the roads. Well, I'm going to end the video. I'm almost, almost, almost home. So please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, consider joining membership. Got a lot of gift card giveaways. Probably already had some. I think I'm going to go to Jamba Juice today. I got a $3 off from T-Mobile Tuesday. So anyways, see you all later. See you all later. Bye-bye.